The holy month of Ramadan begins this evening. The pandemic is changing the way Muslims will be able to observe it. Mr. Khalid Kark, Vice President of Ahmad e a Muslim Community Dallas Chapter, joining us this afternoon or this morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So Ramadan is all about prayer services, community gatherings. How difficult is it to have to mark this month in such a different way? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's got a very very tangible effect on our community. It's been um, uh, difficult for us to uh, engage uh, physically, but Ramadan is also about community, um, and so we're using technology as much as possible. Uh, to ensure that we stay connected as a community. Uh, we were using Zoom meetings to go through teachings um, of the Holy Quran right before the opening of the fast. Uh, we're engaging with our community as much as possible. But uh, one of the injunctions of Islam is also to follow the land, the law of the land. And uh, we're following CDC and uh, local authorities' um, restrictions in terms of social distancing. and. Uh, uh, it's absolutely going to be a very, very different month. Uh, usually our attendance at our mosque is three, four times uh, the usual. And, um, and it's it's a festive time. It's an appropriate time for everybody to do self-introspection um, and and think about how they can spiritually, spiritually grow. And uh, we'll, we'll have to do all of that um, in, in the comfort of our houses. Um, and uh, it's, it's going to be very different, absolutely. So for some perspective, how big is the North Texas Muslim community? Yeah, it's tens of thousands uh, of, of Muslims. Um, uh, again, close to 50 mosques in the area. Um, again, every mosque is filled to the brim usually during this month. Um, and it's just been, again, it's been difficult for all religions, um, but especially for Muslims during the month of Ramadan. This is one month where we as a community engage very, very frequently uh, there's extra prayer services. Um, there's extra kind of community effort to reach out. Uh, we have a long-standing uh, tradition within the uh, the Dallas chapter to do interfaith events and break break bread with our, our brethren um, from different religions. Um, we'll have to do that virtually this year, and uh, uh, that's that's the way it's going to do. We're, we're doing a virtual iftar on May 9th, um, and again, we're going to ask our fellow community members and uh, uh, people from other religions to join us. So you'll be doing some prayer services virtually, but then also celebrating and breaking bread virtually as well then? Absolutely. That's, that's, that's what we'll have to do. Well, how, how has the response been? I understand that this is difficult, but uh, as for a lot of people, as you mentioned, following the law of the land, is it sort of one of those things where this is, there's just really no other option? Yeah, there isn't, um, and, and our mosques are open for, we're, we're doing blood drives across the nation. We've got 60 plus chapters and um, we're, we're opening the mosque for essential services and serving the community uh, for some of the essential services. But um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be difficult because we have members who are there at the mosque four or five times a day um, to, to say their prayers and they can't be there together. Um, it, is, it is difficult. Uh, but also, I, I think in general, this has been a good learning experience for our community to uh, to do things um, that we normally wouldn't do at home, right? So I asked my son, for example, who's 11 years old, to lead the Friday prayer uh, for us at home. And uh, again, that was a new experience that um, I think uh, it, it's uh, it's that's the silver lining in all of this is it's it's making us better Muslims by engaging in a lot of the services and actually self-introspecting and reading the Holy Quran ourselves. Um, we do have a regular, uh, th during this Ramadan, we every day we're going to have a uh, series of lectures on the Holy Quran right before the opening of the fast. And again, that's a tradition um, that we're going to do virtually this year, um, not physically. Well, thank you so much for giving us your time. We appreciate it and we hope you have a happy month.